I just put out some fresh mineral. So I usually put out 100 pounds of, of loose bag mineral, and then I'll put mm. 100 pounds of uh, loose bag salt, just regular white salt. Um, and uh, so the girls are are getting in there and enjoying that salt mineral. And it is it is cold in Tennessee. For my area, it's pretty cold. The snow has hung around, and it's really got a real crusty ice top. So it's just kind of miserable for everybody involved. That's a heifer right there that I kept uh, from this past calving season. That is, her name's Tradition, MVH Tradition. Her dam is one of the Star Lake cattle, uh, the Star Lake cattle ranch uh, females that I had that I finally had to, uh, to sell because they were getting some pretty good age on them. But she is going to carry on her mother's tradition there. And that's why I called her Tradition. All right, we're getting overloaded here. They found the bag. Come on, babies. Come on, babies. Just a quick little video here, guys, just to let you know what's going on in Tennessee. We're taking care of cattle. Come on, baby. We're taking care of cattle and hoping it's going to warm up, but the whole farm is just icy frozen. Pretty from a distance, but when you have to walk on it, it's kind of miserable. Uh, the four-wheeler does pretty good, but hey, baby. Hey, baby. Look at this, look at this baldy heifer right there. I kept. She's beautiful. You're looking baldy. That 50 right there, she'll have a calf, I'd say, within maybe within three or four days. I'll say she's going to calf. That's going to be her first calf. Look at the size of her, guys. She is just a massive female. Uh, one that we raised. Uh, this this female here, she goes back to Star Lake Cattle Ranch as well. But anyway, still looking for my new herd bull. When I find him, or when I find him, and uh, uh, I, I, I'm going to get him turned out and introduce you to him but I'm, I'm looking pretty hard there's actually some sales coming up i've been talking to some people about some bulls but this year i'm buying a homozygous polled bull hands down i'm not doing anything but homozygous look at this cow's eye right here see how it's kind of got the blue cloud to it that's an old pink eye scar pink eye's bad with cattle but it's even worse for Hereford. You got a really it's a battle fighting pink eye. If you know cattle, you know pink eye's a battle. But that blue cloudy spot in her eyes an old wound. But at any rate, um still got the horned heifer there. Uh she calfed a little heifer, so I have kept her for now, but she's gonna be for sale because I'm I'm trying to get rid of all horns. Eliminate all scurs. I want smooth polled cattle. That's the goal. And um, so hopefully I'll be getting that bull soon. I've got my eye on a few homozygous polled bulls. And if you don't know, homozygous polled means whatever you breed him to, they will always be polled. They will not have horns. So that's what that's what we're looking for. Look at that ball. That's a good looking heifer right there. We raised her, kept her, and uh, honestly, I may sell her. I'm not sure. The only reason I would sell her is just because I say this every year. My goal is to go 100% registered Hereford, but my wife always tells me to keep some commercial as well, and you can't go wrong with the black, with the black baldies. Um, that calf there, if I had papers on the the mother I could register that calf with the ABHA but 
But that calf right there, that would be a very, very high percentage black Hereford because the mother, I know the, the genetics on the mother because she came from Taylor Mill in North Carolina. And I think the mother was already three quarter Hereford, quarter Angus. And so that calf there is out of our registered bull. So that would be a very high percentage black Hereford. Um, but I haven't gotten to any of that ABH stuff, ABHA stuff with registering black Herefords because traditional Herefords like this one here, look at this, look at this female. We raised her. She's heavy with calf. Look at that, heavy with calf. She's due soon. Looking forward to getting some, some new calves. We've already got some calves on the ground this calving season. Got a nice little black Hereford bull. I say black Hereford. Black baldy bull back there. Little little bull. I'm actually thinking about uh, right back there. I'm thinking about going to raise him as a bull and, and not sell him at weaning, but keep him as a heavy yearling and put some money into him and see about growing him. He's back there. Um, I've got another registered bull that is just marked up wonderful out of my best cow, which my best cow is right there. And I've got a bull calf out of her this year, and uh, it's MVH Accelerate, and I'm going to grow Accelerate out, and I'm thinking about growing out that black baldy uh, and, and keep them and sell them as as yearling bulls, um, herd bulls, which that's him right there. That's Accelerate right there. And he is one heck of a calf. Um, he's, he's marked up gorgeous, traditional. And he's out of my best cow. And um, he's out of our last herd bull, which was a Keystone Sun, uh, which is kind of an outcross to a lot of these cattle. And so I think that he's just going to have some real good growth. And his dam is super maternal. Like I said, she'll breed back within 28 days if I let her. She's super fertile. Milk's wonderful. Great udder. She's a five-year-old cow. She's always done very well. I may flush her. Somebody mentioned flushing her. Um, but that's, uh, that's his dam right there. And his name, which he's tucked behind this little heifer, uh, his name is Accelerate, and um, here's that black baldy, that other black baldy there, bull calf that I'm going to raise with Accelerate, and I'm going to grow them out. I'm going to try my hand at growing out some bulls. Uh, people ask me every year, do you have any bulls for sale? Well, I'm going to have two that I know of right now that I'm going to keep and feed. So they will be for sale about this time next year. Um, so there's that. Here comes this horned heifer. She's gorgeous. I just don't like the horns, but she is a gorgeous heifer. And man, you couldn't ask for a better better mother. Her first calf, look at that, look at that heifer right there. That black body heifer, she's gorgeous. Anyway, the horn, the horned heifer, you couldn't ask for a better mother. That was her first calf. I mean, she spit it out like nobody's business, licked it clean, got it up, nursed it, stays right with it. Just a wonderful mother. That's peppermint. We raised her too. Oh, anyway, guys. Just a quick little look around the farm here. The pond is frozen solid. I bet I could go out there and ice skate, but I don't ice skate. But here's a here's a view of the farm. So you can see. It just looks cold, beautiful, but very cold. <laughs> all right, that's all I got right now. I'm gonna do some more cool stuff videos. This has all just been cow videos this winter so far, uh, but I appreciate all my subscribers. Guys, like and subscribe, comment, share. I'm trying to get to that thousand subscriber mark. And uh, if you're in East Tennessee and you like Pulled Herefords, Hereford cattle, cattle in general. Reach out to me, holler. She seconded that. <laughs> I always like to chat about cattle. 
So now I'm going to take the, the four-wheeler back in and I'm going to go back to the office and I'm going to look at some bulls. There is a bull sale tomorrow and I want to check it out and see if it's something I might want to bid on. Like I said, we're looking for the next herd bull for Mohawk Valley Herefords. And I do plan to AI this year. I do plan to set up uh, several registered cows and two of my heifers that I kept from last year. I do I do plan on AIing those this year. And uh, see there, she likes to throw those horns around. She's gentle as a lamb until she gets to the feed bunk. Then she likes to throw those horns around. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Love your neighbors yourself, be excellent to each other, and stay warm.